Hi there, thank you for joining me in this video. My name is Rania. I am the support specialist for MKN Group, and today we're going to be focusing on how to link your Fusion PBX extension to the software application called MicroSIP. Now, MicroSIP is a very popular application, uh, which gives you the ability to be able to use your extension without needing a physical phone. Now, this is quite important for some clients in which, you know, they are not in their office or they need to be able to use uh, their extension to make outgoing calls or receive incoming calls, but they don't have a physical phone. Now, before we get started, uh, I would just like to give you a little bit of information on MKN Group. As you can see, we are, we have been um, SIP trunk providers for 11 years and counting. And uh, just to let you know uh, the VoIP services that we offer, mind you, you can take a look at this at www.itsvoiptime.com and click on the VoIP service tab. As you can see, we have a multitude of different plans, uh, SIP trunk plans. And to just to kind of briefly go over them, a little bit. Uh, we're going to start off with the Unlimited USA for $15 a month. This plan has unlimited inbound and outbound calls anywhere in the USA and it includes two concurrent calls or channels. The next step up to that plan would be the Unlimited North America for $25 a month and this has the unlimited inbound and outbound calls anywhere in the US and Canada and it has three concurrent calls, or as some people may like to call them, channels. And our best plan when it comes to SIP trunks is the unlimited North American $45 plan. It's $45 a month, unlimited calls to the US and Canada, and it has 10 concurrent calls and or channels, as some people may like to call them. Now, if for whatever reason you're not interested in the SIP trunk plans, please note that we have a cloud-based hosted solution, which is $15 per extension, and it has the following attributes. Unlimited calls to the U.S. and Canada, unlimited concurrent calls, each extension is eligible for one free number, DID. There is a free initial setup with a minimum of three extensions, and I will be personally setting up these extensions and this server in general. And in addition to that, there's free support as long as you are a customer with absolutely no contracts. And my absolute favorite aspect of the cloud-based hosted solution is the fact that there is no hacking. Now we've noticed a lot of on-premises PBXs are easily hacked and this will prevent that from happening and will give you the ability to do your everyday tasks without any stress. Now, if you would like any more information, please do not hesitate to contact us. If you are a Canadian customer, please call 416-639-1599. And if you are a USA customer, please call 716-778-3888. Now, now that we have gone over the services that we provide, let's get right into this. Now, the first thing that you would need to do is you would need to download MicroSIP. To be able to do that, please go to any of your, um, your preferred browser and type in MicroSIP. Please make sure that there is no additional space between Micro and SIP. Upon doing that, this is the interface that you will see please click on downloads. Upon clicking on downloads, you will receive this specific interface. Please maneuver your cursor and click on the MicroSIP 3.20.7 EXE. Upon doing that, please launch it, install it, and you should be good to go to be able to access MicroSIP itself. Now let's minimize this. And as you can see, MicroSIP is right here. Once we launch it, we receive this specific dialog box. As you can see, it really resembles a physical phone. And uh, it has a multitude of different aspects to it. Like you can configure video to be able to have a video to video type of communication. 
but today we'll be focusing on just registering an extension uh, with your Fusion PBX to be able to have this soft phone application up and running. So the first thing that you will need to do is just to access your uh, Fusion PBX server. I do have a test server up here and this is what we will be using. Upon logging into your server, please click on Accounts and click on Extensions. As you see, we have three extensions here. Today I'll be using extension 310. Upon opening it, you will have this specific interface. We'll just be able to give you all the information you need to get this cell phone up and running. Once you have this information, you're good to go. So, let's get started. The first thing that you need to do is to click this small arrow right here. Upon doing so, please click Edit Account. As you can see, this is not yet filled in, so the purpose for the purpose of this video, I will start to fill it in one by one. So we'll start off with account name. For the purpose of this video, the account name will be testing. SIP server is the domain name or the domain IP address. You will be able to get this information by just looking up here at the top right corner of your Fusion PBX dialog box. Upon doing so, you will see that this is your domain name. Now, for the purpose of this video, I will be using a domain name rather than an IP. Once you get it, please paste in your domain name where it says SIP server. We can skip SIP proxy as it's not needed. The next thing that we have is username. The username would be the extension number. So the extension number is 310. The domain name is the domain name that we've put for the SIP server again, which again is located at the top right corner of your Fusion PBX server interface. The login would be 310, which is your extension number. And the password will be the password given to you within your extension interface on the Fusion PBX server. For this password, we have 1009-2021. I will just copy this and paste it onto here. The display name, uh, for the purpose of this video, we'll be using testing, but generally our clients like to put uh, their company name within the display name tab. Uh, the voicemail number is star 97, but this really depends on the server that you are using. For Fusion PBX, star 97 is the default for, um, for the voicemail number. And that is pretty much it for this aspect. It is really as simplistic as that. The next thing that I would need you to focus on, and this is a very important aspect of getting this up and running, is the transport protocol. Now, generally, we've noticed that the majority of our clients use UDP, and UDP works extremely well with them. But if for whatever reason UDP is not working well, I kindly ask you to toggle back and forth between TCP, UDP, and all the other um, options that you have here. But generally, it's either UDP or TCP. So I'm going to choose UDP. And I'm going to make sure that everything is inputted as it should over here, and it looks great. Upon doing so, I'm going to click Save. And as you can see, at the bottom left corner of your MicroSIP dialog box, it says Online with a green sign. That is actually a very, very good indication that everything went well. If for whatever reason it didn't go well and you do you see some sort of uh, implementation here stating there's a bad gateway or for whatever reason it's not up and running, please make sure just to go back to edit account and have this information to be as accurate as possible to get it up and running. And remember to toggle back and forth between the transport protocol. Now that we see this is up and running, let's make a test call. I'm going to be calling the company number for MKN Group as a Canadian customer, which is 416-639-1599, and we're going to click Call. As you can see, it has connected. 
and has reached the IVR for MKN group. And that is pretty much it. It is a very easy setup. It's a very good software to have. Uh, it can definitely get you up and running and get you to be able to um, face the objectives that you have for your day and accomplish it as well as possible. Now, if you have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to leave a comment within this video and I will get back to you as soon as possible. And that is pretty much it. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that it has helped you to achieve your objective. Have a wonderful day and take care.